What are you up to now? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Talking about muggleborns again? Yeah. Hello there. Hello, all meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. An honest day's work. Who needs keys when you know Alo Homora? Point of the My mother used to say I was lazy. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friends and where to return them. You know what? Meet me in the town circle. Received my owl. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Uh, well, 
yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see. Is looking at us. Wait till it's sneaking about. You'll see. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this incendiary. Incendi impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I've read about minds like this. Seeing one is something else altogether. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll be quiet. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. 
Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. Revenio. What could they be building? Revelio. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed.
close. I've handled much worse. Another boiler. This another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Snare. Now the traffic will not get. Not an entanglement we need right now.
of them are there? That should be the last of them. Rebellion. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgok what we found. Instantly. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk about what? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Armit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill 
It caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. You there? Can you help? Yeah.
We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Greetings. Please, take your time looking about. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. I know what that means. Merlin trial.
Revelio. 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 Also, Rebellion. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rook would have played a hand in this. Rebellion! I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I finally realized what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isidora's Manor. 
How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. Why am I always on the throne? The way no one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. That looks noise throughout the blood. Hmm. Someone there. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight on the throne or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Every time. is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. Revelio. I should tell For better or for worse, we're in. You ought to cut back on pudding. 
mistook you for a troll the other day. Wait a moment. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Incendio! any goblins in these webs disgusting for even a spider to prey on Definitely think there's something here they want. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size. Or the venomous fangs, or any number of them. Smash it. Should have thought to conjure stairs. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate will be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists all but declared war. Incendio! seen a single rune symbol I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment another we have another fight on our hands
the room you're not a bad chap for a slytherin you gryffindors don't have a monopoly on bravery you know Expecting that. Rebellion. A journal entry by Isadora. Sebastian, Hopefully it will help I think I found some more of this mystery. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still. Something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. 
This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Revelio, now. For the trek back out of here. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Ween has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. 